Cameras trained on one man. Will he add to his total of four goals from his last three? This is EA TV. And a beautiful day for football here at St. James's Park. A warm welcome to Newcastle upon Tyne. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. Sure. Number 22, Nick Pope. Number 12, Jamal Lewis. Number 28, Joe Miller. Thank you for attending St. James's Park. Enjoy the game. And the match is underway. Well, Raul Jimenez, a man who knows how to finish with the very best of them. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him in this match? Well, I think we can expect goals if his form is anything to go by. You just hope that back line have been studying the tapes because most teams have really struggled to keep him at bay. Well, let's join Alex Scott, shall we? Because I'm hearing the situation has changed in the Everton game, Alex. It's a goal for Everton. It was a poor, poor clear. Chance, maybe. He's blocked it. Now the delivery, that's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Well, the crowd are driving their team on here. They're surely going to score soon. And well, they're going for the short one. Diego Costa. And he could be in proper trouble here. And saved by the keeper. Shielding the ball superbly. Cunha. It's a perfect challenge. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. San Maxima. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, here it is again. And it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Mateus Cunha. Decent position for Wolves to be in. Diego Costa, and not quite accurate enough, Stuart. Well, I think he should do better there, but at least they're now knocking at the door. Ruben Neves. Cunha. Well, they keep passing away. Diego Costa, and it's a goal! Level again! What a match this is turning out to be! Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. It's with Joe Linton. Almiron. Joe Linton. Terrific block. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, as you can see, this was always coming. They've been piling on the pressure. It's a well-deserved goal.
Story of Newcastle United in front. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Yeah, it's certainly been an open game, but on the balance of play, I think they do deserve their lead. They just have that little bit more creativity, particularly in the wide areas. Cross blocked. Well, room for improvement in terms of the finish. Crucial interception amid impending danger. Well, half-time it is here, and Newcastle United with the lead. What have you made of them? Well, as we mentioned at the start, they know how to create chances and score goals, and they've done that again here. But if they're to win this, I think they'll need to score another couple in the second half. Now, looking dangerous here. Lewis. Can he make it count? Oh dear, not really troubling the goalkeeper at all, Stuart. Well, from that range, he should be scoring, and he knows it. Lewis. Back with Sam Maxima. A really intense pressure applied. Long way out this. Is this the moment? That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. And time for the change now. <laughs> Let's see about the delivery. And still an opportunity. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop, and then the reaction. Raul Jimenez. Can't miss, surely! Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. It's a short one. Cunha. On to Neves. Can they square the game? Oh, he's missed it. Well, he'd be very disappointed with that. He should be scoring from there. TV. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers facing Tottenham Hotspur. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams. Oh, opportunity here, Stuart. Well, a lovely chip, and it had a chance. Well, it's a really good effort, but he just can't get it underneath the crossbar. Traore has it. And Newcastle pushing forward with options available. In behind for him to chase. It's gone in! Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. And Alex Scott has the details. Yep, another goal for Leicester City. It was an early cross which found him in acres of space and it was a beautiful headed finish. They're... And tossing through. Oh, a superb save. Time for a change then. Substitution for Newcastle United. Coming off the pitch. Number 12, Jamal Lewis. Corner kick Coming forthcoming. The Number 13, Matt Tiger. Who can they pick out? And still dangerous. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Well, the goalkeeper knows it could have been much worse for him. Well, he can't believe his luck there, can he? How is that not a goal? Callum Wilson. Right in the nick of time. Mateus Cunha. 
The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Did well to win the ball back. Now can they counter clinically? All hands on deck. Can he put it away? Well, just look at this. Magnificent agility, perfect timing, and great connection. What a goal that is. The ball rolling again in what has been an utterly one-sided match. And there goes the final whistle. It is a happy story as far as Newcastle are concerned. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, as I keep saying, if you make forward runs and you look to pass the ball forward and have players who can dribble past defenders, you're always going to carry a threat. And that's what they're doing at the moment. Their forward play was scintillating. Time for a few questions. Thanks so much for your time.